Why is my nose red during pregnancy? A lot of women experience increased congestion in the sniffles during pregnancy because of all the estrogen. I was worried I was sick. Pregnancy can affect your immune system, after all. Up to a third of women develop rhinitis or congestion during pregnancy. It may even show up before the morning sickness goes away. I'd rather blow my nose a lot, than throw up a lot. If you're blowing your nose a lot, that will constrict the nasal passages more than they already are while making the nose red. The nose is already red, even if I'm not blowing it a lot. Pregnancy makes your body make more melanin. That's why I've got that black line, on my stomach. That's called the linea negra, which means black line. Some women also get darker colored patches on their face and arms. This is red, not brown. Then I'd say it is due to all the extra blood flow on the face, which normally makes you have a glow instead of a glow in the dark nose. What else could it be? If you just have the congestion, it is allergies or rhinitis of pregnancy. If you have coughing, a sore throat, fever or swollen glands, yellow or green snot, it is an infection. I do not have a fever. I do not bother looking at the color of what I sneeze. You could have a sinus infection. That's more common during pregnancy. I've heard you should drink more water to help clear out the sinuses, but I'm already peeing for two. If you have itchy eyes or watery mucus, I'd say it is allergies. I do not normally have bad allergies. Pregnancies make some autoimmune disorders better and some worse, and allergies can go either way. So what can I do about rhinitis or the red nose? Breathe in the steam in the hot shower, get a humidifier, use saline nose drops. That's pretty standard for any type of congestion. Avoid decongestants without talking to a doctor first. Allergy treatments over the counter may or may not be safe, so get an opinion before you try that. It seems like I cannot take anything at this point. You can try installing an air filter and removing allergens, and determining if it is an actual illness versus hormones. Right now, everything is hormones. And like everything else, you can blame it on the baby now, and remind your teenager of what you went through when you were pregnant with him.